Hello YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Bare Bones to Beautiful. Uh, today we're going to be talking about user directories. Alright, so one thing about user directories, uh, when most desktop environments actually get installed, they install a whole bunch of folders in your home folder, you know, uh, pictures, documents, downloads, general things like that that most users will want on their machines. Videos is another one. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to actually tell the system what the default folders we want to use are. We don't want the applications themselves to be just guessing. Like you'll see here, right up here actually, uh, Firefox created a folder called Downloads, uh, which is fine. I wanted a folder called Downloads, but I don't like having capital letters for my fi or for my folder names, so I will be changing that. So basically, any application that is trying to use the XCG user folders, we are going to be telling Debian what those folders are. We don't want Debian or the applications themselves guessing. Let's get into it. Okay, so one of the first things that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to install a package called XDG users, user dirs. I'm actually not entirely sure what the file name is, but we can find out really quick. Sudo apt install XDG user, user dirs. And actually that's already installed. So let's look at the man page for that. So it looks like uh, the values are looked up in the uh, user dir user -durs .dir file. I believe this should be in the configuration folder. Yes, it will be in the uh, xdg config home, which by default is .config. Uh, so let's create that. cd .config, and you see that we don't have the file now. Let's create the file. Let's do vim xdg user user ders dot dir dir user ders dot dir that's oh that's dumb actually i may need a little more help than that it's not telling me what the actual uh, layout of the file is and i i don't like looking over at my actual home system I'm trying to do everything basically from the base up from the ground up uh, without copying any config files over from what i already have existing uh so that's kind of why we're doing this right now okay and this is one of the reasons that i love being on arch linux their wiki is amazing uh probably the best one in all of Linux that I've used. The Debian one, it's pretty lacking. Very lacking. Uh, it works for what I've needed it to, but if I had to do anything obscure, like passing your GPU through with a uh, PCI pass-through to a gaming VM, uh, that was somewhat difficult to figure out how to do. The actual process itself isn't difficult, it's just there's not a good concrete way uh, that it's set out in the Debian documentation to do it. Then the Arch Wiki, it is very easy to find. You can just search for, I believe it's OVMF uh, pass through, and it'll pop you right in. It's this big long article, walks you step by step through it. It was great. Uh, that's how I initially got it going with Arch. Uh, it's, I had to do something slightly different with Debian. Still isn't very hard, but uh, maybe we'll go over that one day. Anyways, uh, here is the kind of the format or the layout that it expects. Uh, so let's just uh, kind of copy all these over. Okay, and then what I am going to do is I'm just going to make all of these lowercase because I like them to be lowercase. Okay, now we have that set up. Now it is just as simple as, I believe it's XTG user ders update. Ders update. And there you go. Another thing with this is with uh, graphical file managers, a lot of the times they will actually be looking for these uh, values uh, here, such as uh, 
this XCG desktop dir that documents the download, uh, and then it will actually add icons over the left. Actually, let's just add uh, PC Man FM. Okay, awesome. Now that we have PC Man FM installed, let's jump over to our second uh, workspace and open up uh, PC Man FM. Interesting, it didn't work. Why didn't that work? Did it add its own in? Pseudo CG user dares update. Well, this is interesting. I definitely don't want this. Okay. Hmm. Let's try this again. Let's just uh, remove all of those. Um, RF, D, RF, P, F, videos, and music. Okay. Let's actually jump into the config folder and make sure that the Oh shoot, did I name it wrong? Is that what I did? User Durs. Durs. Okay. That explains it. Uh, so let's just move my user Durs. Dur to. <laughs> it's such a stupid name. Dot Durs. Oh no! That's why you should always have your uh, remove commands be confirmed. Uh, I accidentally just deleted those, but we can just add them back in. Them user bears dot dirs. Okay. Now let's go back and copy this over again. I was very confused there for a second why why it wasn't working. I know it should be working. Okay, and then let's actually look at the user dirs that local as well. Yep, that's that's fine for the locale. Okay. I believe I'm going to have to create these folders. Yes. So let's just cat out the user -dirs, dirs file and make up the actual folders. Desktop documents downloads music music public templates videos because we already have the pictures folder there. Oop. Make directory. There we go. Okay, now I wonder if this will update in real time. Uh, XDG user girls update. Maybe we have to close out a PC Man FM. Oops. Didn't want to make it full screen. Uh, what is the command? Uh, S. No, nope, that's floating. T. There we go. Okay. PC Man FM. Okay, there we go. So we just needed to reload PC Man FM. And there we go. Everything is now working. Let's double check by just downloading a file from. Oh boy. Let's jump over back to the back to the first workspace here and close this out open up uh, open up our Firefox and just try to download something okay let's uh 
download something from my dot files directory. So these are all the dot files that I actually have on my uh, home system. Uh, if anyone was interested in them. Uh, let's download, there's my bash RC file. Okay. Now let's see. Actually, you know what? Since we have PC Man FM installed now, I guess. I guess we can just look in there. So we have no big downloads folder or no capital. There it is. Okay. Uh, one other thing that I guess we might as well do. Uh, let's add a hotkey to open up PC Man FM. So vim config sxhkd sshkdrc and then what i like to do is i like to use super e uh, because that's actually what it is in windows as well and i've gotten very used to doing that for my job uh, we have to use windows uh, for our development environment so i use windows every day for work uh, and i use my KVM switch to hop over to my Linux computer after I'm done with work because I work from home. Uh, so super plus E is a PC man FM. Write that. My super escape to reload. Let's close everything out of there and super E. Super E. Did I make a capital? What did I do? Bim, dot config, sxhkd, super plus e, oh, it would help if you spell super wrong, there's no d in super. Okay, and now super escape to reload, close that out, and super e, PC man fm, cool beans. And let's just take a look at where we are uh, for actual file size at the moment. Or package amount. Yo, fetch. Uh, so we're using about 514 megs of RAM. I think we, uh, after having a couple instances of Kitty spun up, uh, 802 packages. So uh, PC Man FM did install uh, quite a few, but I assume it probably needed a lot of them for the uh, actual libraries itself. But yeah, I believe that is it today. Uh, thank you all for watching. It's been fun. Uh, see you later.